subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crown Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. The William Pace Show asking the questions you want to ask, getting the answers everyone wants to know, it's a new season of the William Pace Show. We're raising the bar with more commitment to educate, inform, encourage, inspire, empower, and help you have your best life. Everyone deserves to have their best life. I'm just staying the course. Here we go. Good evening, I'm William Pace. My special guest tonight is Miss Patty Austin. She's in town to promote her new album, Carry On. Also on the show tonight is a musical group by the name of Mystical Presence. I discovered them in Richmond, Indiana. And tonight we're going to go to the Amber Rose restaurant and talk with the owners, Eleanor Sluza and Judy Petrakis. And they're gonna cook for us tonight, spatzla and beef stroganoff. But before we start the show tonight, I'd like to share several letters from viewers. And I would like to encourage you to write to me. I love receiving letters, and I promise I'll write you right back. To write to the William Pace Show, write to the P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio 45401. That's P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio 45401. The first letter tonight is from uh, Lee Jones. She's an employee for the Dayton Daily Newspaper. I love watching the William Pace show. I'm happy to see a show of this caliber on local television. Sincerely, Lee Jones. Well, thank you very much for writing, and we're going to send you a gift certificate to Kitty's Restaurant. The next letter is from uh, Holly Brewer of Dayton, Ohio. Dear Mr. Pace, how are you? Great, I hope. My family and I enjoy watching your show so very much. We find it both informative and enjoyable. It is so nice to have quality programming back on the air. I would like to request a song that I saw you sing at one of your performances at the Dayton Art Institute. Could you please sing, I Bought Me a Cat? I would be so thankful. Looking forward to your next show. Sincerely, Holly Brewer. Thank you very much for writing, and we're going to also send you a gift certificate to Kitty's Restaurant. The next letter is from uh, Kimberly and Richard King of West Carrollton, Ohio. Just a quick note to tell you what a delight it is to see your program. You inform, but in a friendly manner, and it is very refreshing. And given my and my husband's musical backgrounds, we can appreciate your operatic talent and enjoy your weekly vocal performances. We enjoy each show and wish you continued success. Sincerely, Kimberly and Richard King. Thank you very much for writing. And we're going to send you gift certificates to Fred Astaire Dance Studio. And the last letter is from a Julie Ross of Dayton. Dear Mr. Pace, I have been watching your TV show and enjoy it very much. I especially like the interviews. It's nice to have live programming in Dayton. I also enjoy your singing very much. Sincerely, Julie Ross. Thank you very much for writing and we're going to send you a box of Esther Price candy. Coming up, we're going to go to the trolley stop to hear that musical group, Mystical Presence. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, 
taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guests this evening are the mystical presence all the way from Richmond, Indiana. What are you going to uh, sing for us tonight? It's going to be sung by Creedence Clearwater, and uh, we're also going to do an original song. Okay, great. The mystical presence. Thank you. are going to go great places. I just know it. <laughs> well, good. And we can say we heard you first on the William Pace Show. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to the Amber Rose restaurant for some spatula and beef stroganoff. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guests this evening are Eleanor Sluces and Judy Petrokas, owners of the Amber Rose Restaurant. 
Thanks so much for coming on the show tonight. I'd like to know, uh, how long has the Amber Rose restaurant been in existence? This June the 6th will be two years. Two years? Yes. Now, where did the idea come to, to start this kind of restaurant? Well, Judy and I were born and raised in Old North Dayton, and I think she can tell you a little bit about uh -huh. it. Eleanor and I have cooked for churches, uh, especially our Holy Cross Church, and we've done a lot of cooking. We did a lot of catering for 10 years, and it was a dream that we've had for 10 years or maybe even more. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, the dream materialized, and we opened up business, as Eleanor said, in June of uh, 1990. Wonderful. What makes um, uh, the Amber Rose restaurant different from all the other restaurants here in Dayton? We feel that we are very unique in that we are the only restaurant in Dayton and in this area that features Eastern European food exclusively. Mm. Mm. You can go to Cleveland, that's probably the closest to where you would find Eastern European food in one restaurant, or to Budapest or Munich or Moscow, but come mm. to Dayton. Come to Dayton. <laughs> well, what are we gonna cook tonight? This evening, we are preparing uh, German Spätzle and uh, the classic beef stroganoff. Wonderful, let's get started. Fine. Good. So we're gonna cook a Spätzle. This, these are the German noodles, the Spätzle, and we, what we're doing is reheating mm -hmm. the Spätzle. They're best made a day ahead of time mm -hmm. and then reheated in butter in a skillet. Mm -hmm. And the first step to the Spätzle, though, is to make a nice soft dough with flour and eggs and milk and a little bit of club soda mm -hmm. to make them fluffy. That's one of the secrets for making fluffy Spätzle as opposed to hard Spätzle and then a hint of nutmeg. Mm. And then you take your soft dough, you put this piece of equipment over the pot of boiling water. I see. And rub your soft dough through that oh. into the boiling water. Okay. And then you wait until the little noodles are cooked. And then the next day when you want to reheat them, you put the butter into a skillet and reheat them in butter. What are some of the ingredients in the uh, beef stroganoff? Uh, you start with thin strips of very tender raw beef. You saute that very quickly. And then into the sauteed beef, you add uh, several cups of thinly sliced, not chopped, but sliced rings of onion and uh, freshly sliced fresh mushrooms. And you saute them until the onions become uh, tender. And then you make a paste of dry mustard, salt and pepper, and a little bit of sugar a little bit of water, and you pour all of that into your uh, meat and vegetable and uh, mushrooms. And then the last thing you do is add the sour cream. Wonderful. And you mix it up, and it makes a really delicious It smells stuff. delicious. So this is a dish that is put, prepared together then, the spätzle and also the uh, beef stroganoff. That's right. You can, even though this is a German noodle, you can add I uh, use that, the German noodle, with the Russian beef stroganoff. And the beef stroganoff that we prepare is the classic stroganoff, which was originally prepared for the imperial stroganoff family. There are a lot of variations and versions of beef stroganoff, but we choose to use the original. Enjoy. Great. So we have spätzle and beef stroganoff. Well, let's go out to the dining room and try this out. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to try out the spätzle and the beef stroganoff. Now do they mix both together or do they eat it separately? Some people mix them together, but we've noticed that a lot of people do not mm -hmm. because they like the distinctive flavor of each. Mm. You, when you taste that, you will taste a hint of nutmeg in it. Mm -hmm. And then the, the stroganoff is very distinctive in itself. Very good. Thank you. I'd like to thank you both for coming on the show tonight. I have a little gift for you. A box of Esther Price candy. Thank you very much. It's the best. Oh, it is the best. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in a moment with my special guest, Miss Patty Austin. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest. 
taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Krohn Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My special guest tonight is Miss Petty Austin. She's in town to do a concert here at Jilly's and to promote her new album, Carry On. Here's a little gift for oh, us. Oh, this is beautiful. From, yeah, Thank compliments. Thank you very much. Avenue Flores. Oh, goody. Have I got it? Yes, yeah, I've got it. I'm going to put go. these back here <laughs> for now. Let this be some backdrop for us. So carry on. This is a new album for you, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And how does this album uh, differ from some of the other albums? I don't know that it differs uh, so much because I tend to make albums that are very eclectic musically anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. pretty much the same thing I've been doing for a while. Mm. What are some of the songs on the, on the album? Well, we have some retro things on the album, Carry On being one of them, mm -hmm. a tune that was originally done by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, another tune that was done by the Young Rascals called How Can I Be Sure. Mm -hmm. And um, we have another tune by the Mamas and Papas that mm -hmm. we redid called Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. <clears throat> and also a tune that was recorded by David Pack, who produced most of this album, mm -hmm. All But One Cut, mm -hmm. uh, a tune that he recorded on his first solo album after he left the group Ambrosia. Uh, called I Just Can't Let Go. So mm -hmm. we have four what are known as cover tunes on the album and everything else is new and original. Mm -hmm. Now you were put on the stage at a very early age of four mm -hmm. with uh, Dinah Washington. Right. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Can you remember back? Um, it was no big deal to me because I was four and, <laughs> and didn't have a frame reference of comparison so it was just kind of a fun thing for me to do at the time. Uh huh. And your father was a, a trombonist? Right, uh -huh. a jazz musician for uh -huh. about 18 years. Did he uh, play a part in, your, in, in molding your career, shaping your career for you? Um, I would say he influenced uh, my, my musical taste mm -hmm. a, gr a great deal. Um, his musical taste was also very eclectic. Mm -hmm. And in the course of the day, you would hear everything in our house from, uh, from Latin music to classical to opera to uh, classical jazz mm -hmm. to country western mm -hmm. to the blues to bebop I mean everything was <laughs> everything was listened to in our home uh-huh I read something recently where you described yourself as a Meryl Streep <coughs> of singer mm -hmm. what what's meant by that well a lot of people ask me about uh, the kinds of music that I do and because I do such a wide variety of music uh, it sometimes becomes confusing in an industry where everybody is heavily pigeonholed musically mm -hmm. So uh, to that, I usually respond, well, nobody tells Meryl Streep to play one kind of part. <laughs> so uh, why should I, as a singer, be required to sing one kind of music? So mm -hmm. that's where the comparison mm -hmm. comes in. Growing up as a child, did you have uh, certain idols that you listened to, wanted to be like? <sighs> Not really. I've never been one to uh, try to emulate someone that I don't know, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> which is one of the things I see happening a great deal in our society, but if I emulated anyone's behavior, it would have been my parents. Oh. Yeah. Mm. For singers, uh, young singers who want to start a career as in, in the business, mm -hmm. what, what advice would you give to them? Um, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I have enough competition already. <laughs> no, it's a very, very difficult business. Very, very difficult. It becomes, seems to be becoming more difficult as I go along. Um, uh -huh. it, the business aspect of show business has become very, very important. And unless you have a very good sense of business, you're going to have a hard time in this industry. A talent, uh, musical talent or mm -hmm. acting talent or whatever kind of artistic talent mm -hmm. you may have is not sufficient anymore. You really have to know what gears turn the industry so that uh, 
you can surround yourself with the kinds of people who will help you through this industry and not use you. Yeah. And so in order to do that, you really have to know how to do it mm -hmm. yourself. Not that you should do it yourself, because that's a very difficult thing to do. It's been arranged so that you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too maddening to try to handle the business and your own career at the same time and your artist, your creative side of your career at the same time. Mm -hmm. But uh, the only thing I can advise is to just uh, find out as much about the industry as you can, apprentice as much as you can in the industry, which is very difficult these days. There aren't a lot of places to go and break in. You just kind of mm -hmm. either make it or you don't these mm -hmm. days. But um, it's just a very, very difficult thing. And it's not anything, you know, I, people come to me sometimes and say, I want to be in show business. I said, well, then you should get a job at Woolworths. <laughs> because this is not an industry that you want to be in. This is an industry that you need to be in. Uh -huh. You can't, it's not about, gee, I think, I like, I think I'd like to be a singer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. More with Patty Austin when we return. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There is always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to The William Pace Show YouTube channel be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. You've worked with um, some big name artists as well, um, Johnny Mathis mm -hmm. and James Brown and others. Um, is there a particular artist that you have in really enjoyed working with? I try not to work with people that I'm not gonna enjoy working with, so I haven't had that many people that um, uh, that really stand out particularly because uh, they all stand out for me before I get to work with them. I mean, I, I really did love working with Johnny, though I must say um, I, I had admired his work from afar for a very, very long time and uh, was asked to work with him, um, much to my honor, I must say, uh, in Nashville, of all places. We did a wonderful show for PBS in Nashville. and. Um, it was just a great experience. He was such, was and is such a pro, mm. such a joy to work with, and um, one of those people that when you walk on stage, you don't have to worry about anything they're doing. All you have to do is worry about yourself, <laughs> which mm. is always a fun thing. Mm -hmm. so he's the you've best. been, you've been described as um, um, a very down-to-earth person. What, what keeps you grounded in this business? Oh, I have crazy friends. <laughs> I have crazy friends and, and great parents and uh, just wonderful people around me, and I try to keep it that way, and none of them are strokers. Mm -hmm. They're all pretty mean, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. They, they kind of stay on me, and if they see me beginning to levitate, they bring me right back down to earth where I belong. So. so your family is all very supportive of your Absolutely. Entire, entire career? Absolutely. And it, I was very fortunate that my parents had both worked in the industry, so they had a very good sense of what it is because it's difficult to come into this business and not have anyone in your immediate environment that's aware of the industry and what it, what it can bring and what terror <laughs> it can rot in your life. So um, I had uh, parents who were familiar with what the business was about, so it made it a lot easier for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I know last night you were in Chicago, and mm -hmm. tonight you're in Dayton, and right. tomorrow you'll be in Cleveland. Right. What are some of your future engagements? Uh, we're going to Hong Kong next week, and then 10 days after that we go to Japan for two weeks, and then I'm off for a minute and working on a TV series after that. A TV series? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Can't tell you any more than that okay. about it. Okay, But it's going to be announced, yeah. <laughs> It'll be announced by the end of the month. Okay, and we heard it first here on the William yeah. Day Show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to come on. I know thank you're you. very busy with the sound well, check thank here. You. And thank you for making it swift and pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. My, My special, special guest, Miss Patty Austin. And we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. Hi. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. 
There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.